hey guys uh, welcome to this video which is about rhce that is red hat certified engineer uh, students those who are preparing for uh, rhce this could be a better opportunity for them to watch and uh, understand what type of questions they will be facing in the exam so watch this entire video and uh, practice and uh, i'm sure that you will score good marks uh, before starting i will uh, would like to tell you that uh, my system is configured in a way that all the questions will be running successfully and in your case you uh, you can take any rhel version and uh, take two systems and you can perform in the same manner okay so without wasting much time let's get started so uh, uh, they will be uh, this is not a question this is a kind of prerequisite they will be asking you to configure the repository and which is very important uh, because after configuring the repository uh, only then uh, you will be able to install packages so for that uh, what you need to do is you need to go in cd etc yum dot repos dot d and uh, i have already created a file that is local dot repo uh, similarly you need to create a file local dot repo you need to write this in a uh, bracket and uh, give a name base url which will be given in your online question paper enable is equal to one gpg check is equal to zero and uh, uh, this way uh, you can uh, come out of the file and you can check yeah uh, how you will check yum clean all okay and yum repo list this way you will see that uh, packages are already inst installed uh, it can be 38544307 it depends okay so uh, let's get started with the first question and uh, that they will be asking you to uh, uh, set your uh, system in enforcing mode okay so first you will check okay it is already in enforcing mode but in in your exam it will not be in enforcing mode it will be in permissive mode okay this way it will be in permissive mode so you have to change your uh, uh, mode to enforcing mode and how you will do it that is set in force one which will make your system in enforcing mode okay and after that you have to go into the configuration file and you have to type it manually yes you have to type it manually don't forget to type it manually otherwise it will not change okay and uh, uh, this way you have to come out of the file and they will ask you to reboot no need to reboot at this particular time you can uh, you uh, because uh, further in other questions you will have to reboot and in last uh, also you have to reboot your system so that time it will all it will be done automatically okay so uh, let's come to the uh, next question uh, that is uh, they will be asking you uh, that a particular domain should not enter your system up and a particular domain should enter your system that will be uh, that will be asked through SSH and it will be asked as SSH configuration. So some domain should not access and some domain should access. So in that case, without going into the file, we will write echo and SSHD. Let's say everyone with district dot example dot com. Okay. Redirect sign and it can only be done hostess remember this is hostess h o s t s dot allow okay and everybody be careful while changing and everyone uh, let's say my one two three four dot o r g okay and we have to we want to deny all this deny and in order to check you can check cat etc hostess dot allow see you can see that 
without going into the file with the help of echo command it is already written in the file and for hostess dot deny see it is also mentioned over here so this way we have completed our two questions now we will go on the third question which is they will be asking you that uh, configure your system in such a way that of traffic coming on the port 5243 uh, of uh, TCP protocol and from the source network should be forwarded to port number 80 okay should be forwarded to port number 80 so how will we do that that can be done with the help of rich rule rich rule family okay so that will be done with firewall cmd hyphen hyphen permanent add rich rule uh, just be careful while typing if you make single mistake it will not happen okay so be careful while doing this ip rule is a family is good to ipv4 the source address will be given in the and uh, I will tell you this will not come in uh, when you press tab it will not come in tab my network is 110 and my subnet is 24 okay and if you want to remember so uh, this way you can remember it forward okay forward port on which port okay port number 5243 okay protocol protocol which protocol TCP to which port that is 80 and don't forget to close this okay this way see it shows success that means whatever traffic comes to 5243 will be redirected to do redirected to port 80 okay and uh, don't forget to type this command that is firewall CMD hyphen hyphen reload to take the following changes what you have done okay successful now if you want to check you can check by firewall cmd hyphen hyphen list rich rules okay this way you can check rule family ipv4 source address right forward port port is 5243 protocol is TCP and it will be forwarded to port number 80 okay so this way we have completed our third question okay let's go to the next question but remember this you have to uh, it will be mentioned in the question paper that you need to perform this question on both the systems or only on one system so you just need to see read it properly and accordingly you need to perform okay so I am just doing on uh, one system uh, you can perform according to the questions on the both the both the system so yes uh, now they will be asking you to create a command okay that is qstat qstat command while you when you type this command th there will be some command that will be executed and uh, the question will be something like this without going into that uh, so the command is made only if the entry is done in etc bash rc okay so i will show you without going into the this is single inverted comma alias the command will be given qstat and the format will be given in the question that uh, you need to write ps hyphen a o something like that will be given in your question paper you just need to copy paste it better you just copy paste it I am typing for you don't forget to put this single inverted comma most of the student makes this mistake and you know they just uh, they are just uh, thinking that where I had done the mistake so don't forget and uh, when you will type you know when you will p uh, press tab key if you if you are missing this one and uh, you're trying to type 
tab key it will not come so in your exam try to use tab key which will be very helpful for you etc bash rc one more by adding a semicolon we can uh, add one more uh, command into the same command okay this will save our time source source slash etc bash rc okay the source command is to reread what we have done and in order to check we need to if you can check uh, with the cat command see uh, you can see here two uh, entries because i have already created previously also so you need to q stat okay see ps command you can see the ps command what you have given has come over here so uh, this way we have completed our fourth question and now let's uh, go to the next question that they will be asking you to configure your system uh, in such a way that ipv6 is configured and uh, all, uh, it will it should communicate with system to both the system should be configured with ipv6 so it can be done with the help of nmcli command okay nmcli connection modify whatever uh, interface they will be asking you eth0 eth1 you need to do on that i have eth1 in my system i will eth you try to use tab command okay ipv6 uh, address the address will be given so you just need to copy paste the address try to copy paste don't uh, try to type it it will save your time as well okay again i am telling you people uh, just uh, try to copy paste it because uh, i am typing it here it will save you from making mistakes okay so ipv6 dot method all this will come in tab this manual will not come in tab but this will come okay nmcli connection up eth1 see you can see that uh, it is showing as connection successfully activated in order to check uh, in exam what you need to do is without this subnet mask you need to check ping 6 okay see when you do this on another system and uh, type this command over there with ping 6 it will communicate okay remember don't type the subnet value while checking in the exam okay